Hey guys welcome I am Sunny and today we are going to talk about the history of hero honda motorcycles so let's get started Before the Hero and Honda came together as a joint venture Hero was a brand name used by Munjal Brothers to manufacture Hero cycles Honda on the other hand was the last Japanese two wheeler giant to enter Indian motorcycle industry after Yamaha Suzuki and Kawasaki in 1984 Honda and Hero came together as a joint venture to manufacture motorcycles under the brand name Hero Honda and formed Hero Honda Motors Limited Honda Motorcycles had chosen Hero Cycles for its wide range of distribution network and the quality which Hero provides. The partnership between Hero and Honda made them world's largest two-wheeler manufacturer company. A year later in 1985, the company's first motorcycle Hero Honda CD100 was launched. Hero Honda became the first company in India to introduce four-stroke motorcycles which set the standards for fuel efficiency back then. The motorcycle had the top speed of 85 km per hour with its 97cc single-cylinder four-stroke air-cooled carbureted engine which produced 7.5 horsepower at 8000 rpm and 7.3 newton meter of torque at 5000 rpm with its four-speed transmission and had a mileage of 80 km per liter overall. The CD100 set industry benchmark for quality engine reliability and fuel efficiency soon a legendary fill it shut it forget it slogan was formed later in 1989 after celebrating the success of CD100 and 1 lakh motorcycles produced hero honda launched sleek the sleek had a design that was way ahead of its time the sleek was targeted towards the youth The motorcycle weighed just 100 kg and had a fiber body with integrated tail section. The motorcycle was powered by 97.2 cc single cylinder air cooled four stroke engine which produced 7 horsepower and 7.5 newton meter of torque with its four speed transmission. 2 years later in 1991, Hero Honda produced 5 lakh motorcycles and launched CD100 SS. The CD100 SS was the upgraded version of CD100 with fatter rear tires, high ground clearance and with new graphics. Though the motorcycle carried the same 97.2 cc single cylinder four stroke air cooled carbureted engine which produced 7.5 horsepower and 7.3 newton meter of torque with its four speed manual transmission. In year 1994 Hero Honda launched a new motorcycle named Splendor. Splendor was the successor of CD100. Splendor was equipped with 97.2 cc single cylinder four stroke engine with four speed constant mesh transmission. The Splendor was a no nonsense motorcycle. It was built for riders who were looking for sturdy engine yet with good looks. The Hero Honda Splendor quickly became the best selling motorcycle in India. There were times when in every 30 seconds someone in India buys Hero Honda top selling motorcycle Splendor. In the same year Hero Honda produced 10 lakh motorcycles. 5 years later in 1999 the company launched a new motorcycle named CBZ. The CBZ was the performance motorcycle from Hero Honda. The motorcycle quickly became trend setter among youngsters with its 156.8 cc four stroke air cooled carbureted engine with five speed transmission which chunked 12.8 horsepower at 8500 rpm and 12.5 newton meter of torque at 6500 rpm and a 240 mm disc brake setup at front the motorcycle had the top speed of 113 km per hour in 2001 hero honda launched two new motorcycles hero honda passion and hero honda joy The Hero Honda Passion was marketed as an executive class bike due to its styling and price. The Passion carried a 97.2 cc air-cooled four-stroke single cylinder engine with a tubular double cradle type frame. The Hero Honda Passion quickly became one of the world's largest selling motorcycles after Hero Honda Splendor. Hero Honda Joy on the other hand was an entry level commuter motorcycle. It was the most affordable motorcycle from Hero Honda. A year later in 
Hero Honda Charisma and Hero Honda CD Dawn were introduced along with the upgraded models of Splendor and Passion named Splendor Plus and Passion Plus. The Charisma was the semi-feared offering by Hero Honda. This sport touring motorcycle was inspired by Honda VFR 800 and had been specially designed for the Indian market. The Hero Honda Charisma had a 223 cc single cylinder air-cooled four-stroke engine which produced around 20 horsepower at 8000 rpm and 19.7 newton meter of torque at 6500 rpm. The Charisma had the top speed of 130 km per hour and can do 0 to 60 km per hour in just 3.8 seconds. Hero Honda CD Dawn on the other hand was the most affordable and popular motorcycle of its time. The motorcycle had the 97.2 cc engine and came with metal fenders and spoke wheels. The motorcycle quickly became one of the first choices for rural people in India. While the Splendor Plus and Passion Plus were upgraded with new graphics and a slightly better engine. In 2003, Hero Honda introduces a brand new motorcycle, Ambition 135. It was the effort by Hero Honda to fill the gap between 100cc and 150cc segment. The motorcycle carried a 133cc single cylinder air cooled engine which produced 11.2 horsepower at 8000 rpm and 10.5 newton meter of torque at 6500 rpm. The motorcycle came with five speed transmission. The Ambition was one of the most stylish offering from Hero Honda but failed to impress in terms of sales. In the same year Hero Honda also introduces a new variant of Hero Honda CBZ named Hero Honda CBZ Star. The motorcycle did not feature any new performance upgrade other than graphics upgrade. The only change was in its carburetor which was changed from the sliding type carburetor to a conventional CB carburetor which increased the fuel efficiency but hampered the pickup. the greatest feature of the bike the motorcycle was discontinued in 2005 in 2005 hero honda introduced four new motorcycle models namely super splendor cd deluxe glamour and all new achiever the super splendor was the flagship version of top selling motorcycle splendor Super Splendor carried a standard 125 cc single cylinder engine and was a lightweight motorcycle with a power output of 9 horsepower. CD Deluxe on the other hand was a stylish new entry level commuter offering from Hero Honda. While Hero Honda Glamour was a fuel injected 125 cc motorcycle and Achiever was the standard 150 cc offering by Hero Honda. And that's the part one of the history of Hero Honda motorcycles. If you liked this video do make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming part 2 Thanks for watching until then see you in my next video Number 4 In 1990 Enfield India produced a diesel motorcycle called Taurus Unfortunately